Hey guys, Erin here with LaCour Couture, and today we're going to be talking about which jewelry metals are hypoallergenic. But before we do that, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, and let's get right into it. You may be saying to yourself, what the heck is hypoallergenic jewelry? And basically, it just means that the metals that they're using are not likely to cause an allergic reaction. Now, it doesn't mean that they're 100% because there's always that little, little chance that somebody has a rare allergy, but if you're getting jewelry that says hypoallergenic, it should, for the masses, make sure that you don't have an allergic reaction. It doesn't have some of those mixed metals that cause that reaction. Now, there's obviously a range in jewelry of low price stuff all the way to very, very fine high-end jewelry. And you can find hypoallergenic pieces in all categories. So some of the most pure higher end stuff is going to be the most hypoallergenic, but that doesn't mean that you can't find stuff in your budget. Some of the most pure metals that are gonna be the most hypoallergenic are gonna be platinum, 24 karat gold, um, rhodium, sterling silver, to name a few. All of my products are actually all dipped in 24 karat plating, so it is going to be that hypoallergenic. Now, our silver is all plated in rhodium, and rhodium is also a really, really great option for people with allergies to jewelry. All right, so if we're gonna start, I'm gonna start at like the very top of the hypoallergenic metals. So the number one most hypoallergenic metal, if you do not have a concern about budget, is 100% gonna be platinum. Platinum has that really beautiful silver finish. Its natural properties make it a great option for people with, high, with allergies to jewelry because it does not require a lot of alloys or different metals to mix in um, with jewelry making. Also, just to keep in mind, platinum is also super rare and it's way more rare to find than 24 karat gold. So that is going to make it super expensive. Now, palladium can be a way more cost-effective metal to use um, for jewelry making and also when purchasing. And it is a very similar look as platinum. It has that silver, beautiful finish, but it is so much less dense than platinum. So typically, palladium has to be mixed with something else. And usually with white gold, they can replace palladium instead of nickel to make white gold for people that are looking for that hypoallergenic product, but it's a lot more cost effective. So definitely check out palladium. You're going to know that there is another type of metal mixed in. If you are buying 14 or 18 karat, there's definitely going to be another metal mixed in. So you definitely want to keep that in mind. And if you want to check out my jewelry and other videos, make sure you check out the link in the description below. Support the channel. If you want to keep learning about all things La Couture, fashion, jewelry, make sure you click one of those videos above me and I'll see you in the next one.